Hi guys. All right, this is your writing video for the entire week. So we're gonna go through the entire writing process. I'm gonna share some slides with you and then you can get started on your writing. This week in writing, we are going to write a narrative, a story about what you're looking forward to this summer. Um, I know that it's starting to get warmer and I'm thinking a lot about summer and I assume you guys are too. So what is something that you are looking forward to this summer? So let's brainstorm some ideas about things that we might enjoy in the summer, things that we um, might like look forward to every summer. So I know for me, one thing I look forward to is going to the beach and playing in the sand. Okay, I love the beach. I'm hoping that that's an option this summer. Another thing that I love, I love going for walks. And that's hard to do when it's winter time, right? I've gone on some, but I love to go, be able to go for a walk every single day. Another thing I love about summer, ice cream. I love to stop and get ice cream on our way home. And we haven't been able to do that yet because most ice cream places aren't open. So that is something I am definitely looking forward to this summer. What else? Oh, kind of goes along with this. Swimming. I can't wait to go swimming. What else am I looking forward to? I think the last thing I'm looking forward to is sleeping in this summer, not having to get up and go to school. So you need to pick one thing that you are looking forward to. I don't want you to be writing a list. I'm looking forward to the beach and walks and sleeping in and ice cream and swimming. That's not what this writing piece is about. This writing piece is about picking one thing you're looking forward to and talking about why you're looking forward to that thing. Okay, so I think that I am going to, I think that I, I think that I am going to choose going to the beach. Okay, that's what I'm gonna write about. So now that I kind of have my idea of what I wanna write about, my topic, now we're going to get started on our hamburger writing. Okay, so there are three steps to, the, to our writing process. One is your hamburger, um, writing your rough draft on your hamburger template. Two, editing that rough draft, making sure that you have capitals and periods and spaces and spelling. And the third thing is writing your final draft. So now that I have my topic, the beach, I am going to start my rough draft. Okay, here's my rough draft. move the computer a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better and it says this summer I am looking forward to that is your sentence starter it's already there you just have to finish that sentence this summer I am looking forward to mm. now if you wanted to write a different sentence you could cross out that sentence starter and write your own topic sentence but you have to make sure it's a topic sentence that tells the reader what they're going to be reading about. Okay? They're going to be reading about the summer and what I'm looking forward to. So this summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. Now I know this hamburger template is a little bit different than the one that you guys have. Um, the, they're the same, the only thing that's missing are the lines. And down here at the bottom, the bottom bun, which we usually call the closing, is called the conclusion, which is the same thing. 
So this summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. Now, you guys, um, I'm writing in green marker so you guys can see what I'm writing. You should be writing this in pencil. All right. So I have my first sentence done. Now I need my three details. And my details are going to be why I'm looking forward to going to the beach. What am I looking forward to about the beach? So I have to think about that for a minute. Well, I love playing in the sand. So that's a lot of fun. Um, that's definitely one reason why I like going to the beach. Um, the other reason is that I loved to um, walk on the beach. Um, so when we go to the ocean, you can walk for so long. So I love to do that and I love to collect shells. So those are three reasons. So I love to play in the sand. I love to take walks on the beach and I love to collect shells and sea glass. Okay, so now I have to figure out which one of those I want to put first. So I'm gonna reread my topic sentence and just kind of think what would come next. This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. I can't wait to build sand castles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. All right, I'm going to read that sentence to you again. I can't wait to build sand castles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. Okay. This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. I can't wait to build sand castles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. I could write another sentence about that. I could write about how we build wet sand castles and how or drip sand castles, and those are some of my favorite because you don't need a lot of stuff. You can just sit down and start building them. And I'm wondering if maybe I should add that, but I'm not really sure where because I'm kind of out of room. I'm out of room here. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna go flip my paper over. So this summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. I can't wait to build sand castles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. I'm gonna flip my paper over and this is detail number one. So I'm gonna write number one here and then I know that I will have to flip my paper over when it's time to, for my final draft. I want my sentence to say, um, we love to build drip sandcastles with wet sand. I could also say Hannah loves to dig holes, because she does. Hannah loves to dig holes. Now, I just wrote three sentences about my one detail. I could certainly use these as my two other detail sentences, but then my writing is more about building sandcastles instead of going to the beach. And I want to share with my reader the other reasons I enjoy going to the beach. So I'm gonna flip my paper back over. And over here, I'm just gonna write a little arrow. That means that don't forget you have stuff on the back. Um, all right, so my second detail, I said that I like building sandcastles, I like going for walks, and I like collecting shells. Hmm, I'm gonna start at the beginning of my writing and see which one kind of should come next. This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. 
I can't wait to build sandcastles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. We love to build drip sandcastles with wet sand. Hannah loves to dig holes. So now I need to think about how I'm gonna start this sentence. I could start it with, I can't wait, but I already used that. I could start it with, I am looking forward to, I am looking forward to, or I am also looking forward to, because this is another thing I'm looking forward to. Oh, maybe I could use another. Another thing I'm looking forward to is, I like that, uh, another thing, 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 I'm, Look, look, looking forward to is taking walks on the beach. Beautiful. Let's read that one more time. Another thing I'm looking forward to is taking walks on the beach. Now, I don't really have a lot of other stuff to say about that. Um, I just like to take walks. So that one, I don't think I'm gonna add any more details to. That one, I'm just gonna leave. So then I'm gonna talk about how I collect seashells. How am I gonna start this sentence? This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. I can't wait to build sandcastles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. We love to build drip sandcastles with wet sand. Hannah loves to dig holes. Another thing I'm looking forward to is taking walks on the beach. I wonder if I could start my sentence with I also. I also love to I also love to collect, collect um, seashells and sea glass. Okay. This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. Do you notice how I keep starting at the beginning of my writing? That's a good um, habit to get into. When you're writing a piece, after you add something, go back and read the whole thing. That's going to help your writing flow. It's going to help it sound um, organized. So going back and reading that will help me make sure that all my sentences make sense next to each other and in the correct order. And that's definitely something that you should be doing as you're writing, you should be going back and reading your writing from the beginning to make sure that it flows well, that your sentences make sense next to each other, that maybe, maybe you need to change the order of your sentences. So definitely so that's a habit that you should start doing if you're not doing it already, okay? So I just wrote my third detail. I'm going to go back up and read from the beginning. This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. I can't wait to build sandcastles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. We love to build drip sandcastles with wet sand. Hannah loves to dig holes. Another thing I'm looking forward to is taking walks on the beach. I also love to collect seashells and sea glass. All right, now I just need a conclusion. So I need something to wrap it up, to let the reader know that there's nothing after this. This is the last sentence. There's no more to my writing. So I'm gonna go back up to my topic sentence because your conclusion or your feeling sentence should be, have, be similar to your topic sentence. So something about going to the beach, I could write, I love going to the beach or I am 
and all right my zoom uh closed there for a minute so we need to do our conclusion and i was thinking while my zoom was starting back up of what my conclusion could be i wanted something a little bit different than i love the beach but i think i'm going to leave it at that i had a hard time thinking of something different so i'm just going to write i love going to the beach So I have written my writing piece. I've expanded on some of my details. I've added more information to my writing, um, especially with this detail right here. I added two more sentences to go with that. But that just makes my writing even better. So definitely make it a goal to take at least one of your sentences and see if you can add another sentence to go with it or expand on that sentence. Um, these two sentences I didn't really expand on. Um, I could just, I could have written, I collect shells, but that wouldn't be a very first grade sentence. And so adding some more details in the way I wrote that sentence, so not I collect shells, I also love to collect seashells. It makes the transition from this sentence to this sentence a little bit better. So, once you're done with your um, hamburger writing template, the next step is to edit your writing. So you are going to get your editing checklist. Now I'm going to pause the recording while I go get my editing checklist. All right, so now I have my editing checklist, and this is in Google Classroom. It's posted in the Google Classroom. It's also in our slides for writing this week, um, and the link is in the slides. So you can just click that. When I edit my writing, I have to reread each sentence, making sure that I have everything on this list. Now, are you realizing how much reading writing takes? Yeah, to make a good writing piece, you need to reread your writing over and over and over again. And there's always something else you can do to make it better. So maybe you can add another detail, or maybe you can fix that spelling, or maybe you can make sure you have periods. So reading your writing, like I said earlier, needs to become a habit. As you're writing, you're going back and you're reading from the beginning to make sure it makes sense, okay? All right, so I'm going to look at the first thing on my editing checklist. I am going to read all my sentences, making sure that that is there. And then I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So I should be reading my writing. One, two, three, four. At least four times when I'm doing editing, okay? All right, so I put spaces between my words, okay? This summer, I am looking forward to going to the beach. That has pretty good spaces. I can't wait to build sandcastles with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. That has pretty good spaces. It gets a little bit messy, so when I do my final draft, I'm gonna have to make sure that I do that a better job of that. We love to build drip sandcastles with wet sand. Hannah loves to dig holes. Those spaces look good. Another thing I'm looking forward to is taking walks on the beach. I also love to collect those look, my spaces look pretty good. I can tell where one word ends and another word begins. I checked the word wall. Ladies and gentlemen, you have access to a word wall. I didn't check the word wall. I used the word wall that's in my head. Um, but you should be checking the word wall. And in the slides, there's a link for the word wall. Use it. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that my spelling looks okay. Um, Seeing castles. Hmm. I think that's spelled wrong, but I'm not really sure how it's spelled. So I'm going to make sure that I have at least all the sounds. Castles. I think that's right. Um, with Hannah and Mr. Hutchins. Another. I put a U there because that's the sound I hear. Another but I'm thinking it's an O. I'm gonna change that to an o. another. Yeah, that looks better. Cause I think 
another has the word other in it, and that starts with an O. Another thing I'm looking forward to is taking walks on the beach. I also love to collect. I read a story about collecting things, and I think I remember that collect, there's just something that looks wrong to me with the C-U. I think it's supposed to be a C-O. Collect, collect. Yeah, I think that's right. I also love to collect seashells. Sh sh eels. I'm going to tap out sh shells is what it's supposed to be. Sh -a -o shell, and the whole word is shells. Okay, I have the sh -a, but two E's together doesn't make the short sound of eh. So I need to change one of those. I think one of them is supposed to be an L because I think this follows the philosopher. Sh, e, u, and then we have the suffix s because I'm talking about more than one seashell. I also love to collect seashells and sea glass. I love going to the beach. Okay. So I think I collect, corrected some of my spelling. I forgot to flip it over. We love to build drip sand castles with wet sand. Yep, I think those are all spelled correctly too. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. I spelled tricky words the best I can. I wrote letters for most of the sounds. Susie likes the color red. This sounds like bike like. Okay, I think I already did that when I changed the O's in another and collect. Now I'm going to go down here. I used ending punctuation and capital letters to start sentences. And also you need to be looking for proper nouns at this point. Okay, so anything that um, is a proper noun needs to be capitalized. So if you use a name like Mr. Hutchins or a brother or a sister um, or I alone, those are things that need to be capitalized. So I'm going to make sure this sentence is capitalized, obviously. And then I have my period, capital, period. Capital, period, capital, period. You should be making sure that your sentences are a complete thought, okay? So you don't put sentences randomly after words, they go after you're done with your thought. So another thing, I'm, oops, I have an I here and it's lowercase, it needs to be an uppercase. Another thing I'm looking forward to is taking walks on the beach, period. I also love to collect seashells and sea glass. What if I put my period right here after the word collect? I also love to collect seashells and sea glass. Is that where my period would go? No, that's not the end of my thought. Seashells and sea glass are part of my thought. I'm going to cross that out. I also love to collect seashells and sea glass. Your period goes at the end of your thought. I love going to the beach. I could put a period, but I'm going to put an exclamation point. Okay, so I checked for punctuation, capital letters, and proper nouns. And this is, I can read my writing and my friend can read most of my writing without my help. So I would read this through one more time to make sure it all makes sense. And then you're gonna move on to your final draft. I'm gonna put my editing checklist away. And this is your final draft. I have um, put the starting sentence for you. Um, but if you do not want that starting sentence, then um, I'll see if I can make a new one, but I couldn't figure it out the other day. So you can either print out a blank one of these or you can write it in your writing journal. So first things first, I am going to begin writing my writing. I am going to make sure that my handwriting is super neat and I'm going to make sure that I have all of these words written down on this final copy. Once you're done writing your final copy, you're gonna do a very detailed, very colorful illustration. My illustration might illustrate one of the reasons I like going to the beach. So maybe it's Mr. Hutchins, Hannah, and I building one of our drip sand castles. 
So I might have the water in the background and the sun, maybe a cloud, and then I would have lots of sand and I would have Hannah and Mr. Hutchins and I, and we would have little piles of sand building our drip sand castle. And then once I'm done with this, there's two pages. Once I'm done writing in my best handwriting, once I'm done with my illustration, I'm gonna edit it one more time, making sure that I still have my spaces, making sure that I checked that all my spelling is correct, which it should be, making sure that I remember to write my capitals, remember to put my periods. And the last thing I want you to do before you fin you're finished is reread your writing. I want you to read the whole thing from the beginning to the end to make sure that it all makes sense. Because what happens a lot, and I've done it more times than I can count, when you're transferring, when you're writing your sentences from your rough draft to your final draft, you might skip a sentence and you don't realize it. So you wanna make sure that you're rereading your writing as you're going, but definitely at the end to make sure you have everything. Once you have your writing done, you can upload it on Thursday um, to the assignment that's posted on Thursday. Other than that, um, I hope you enjoy this writing piece. I hope you like writing about summer. It's fun to look forward to something. And if you have any questions or you want to work with me some more about it, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next week for writing. Bye, guys.